Wreck, 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 league podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Anchor, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Radio Public, Pocket Cast, Breaker, and Stitcher. At Wreck League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. At Wreck League Pod on Twitter. Episode 35 coming soon. Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram, or YouTube itself. What up, world? So uh, I just saw The Gentleman. It stars Matthew McConaughey, Charlie Hunnam, Colin Farrell, Henry Golding, Michelle Dockery, Hugh Grant, Jeremy Strong, and Eddie Marsan. It is directed by Guy Ritchie, who has directed Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, Snatch, Rock and Roller. Um, the two Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes movies, Revolver, and um, The Man from Uncle, King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, and most recently Aladdin last summer. If you want to get a shout out in my review of The Invisible Man, stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can do that. You got Matthew McConaughey. He is a marijuana professional. And he, I, like, they, they tell his backstory is very, is very dope. But he makes a business decision as far as his empire. And other gangsters in the London area have made their own business decision to try to force his hand. Cause chaos in his world so he makes a decision that benefits them. And Hugh Grant has approached Charlie Hunnam and he's breaking down the whole story. But Charlie Hunnam is like McConaughey's like right hand and the way it's told and the way it plays out is very interesting. And um I know this is a month old, but yesterday was my birthday. I wanted to see the Impractical Jokers movie. Limited release, like hundreds of theaters, not even a thousand theaters. And the furthest one, like the closest one to me was stupid far away. <laughs> And my wife wanted to see it. We're both huge fans of that show. But I told her about this movie, and she was interested in that. And you know, female, she's obviously a fan of Matthew McConaughey. Um, and she found well, we found a theater that had both. But as far as time and convenience, we like found separate theaters, and we saw this first. And um, I still wanted to review it, man. Like I said, I know it's been out a month. I still wanted to, to see it. I still wanted to review it. Because, like, I did Guy Ritchie. I dug this cast. This was my second most anticipated movie of January. And um, I I enjoyed it. It's, like, I, I'm not going to front. Like, it starts off real slow. Like, you have to, like, you have to let yourself, like, get used to the environment. Especially Hugh Grant. Like, Hugh Grant comes in, like, real, real goofy and real um, kind of animated. And then when, once the story picks up, like it just it's it's like a sl like it's like a snowball, like the snowball small and it rolls downhill and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That's how my liking of the movie went. Like I thought it was fine when it started. I really liked it by the end. And um, it's like I think the trailers sold it as a more action heavy movie. There are there are scenes of action. There are scenes of action, but it's not a, sh a full out action movie. Like it's more of a gangster movie with action elements and just rival gangster organizations. You know, like one's making a mess, one's trying to clean that mess up, and double crosses and plot twists. And there was one obvious plot twist that I knew was coming because Matthew McConaughey is talking to one character. And then something happens. So it's it's obvious what went down, but then it it comes back around that it, it's really this it's really this group of people. And it's really this group of people. And it, it kind of started to feel a little cluttered toward the end. And um I mean for a long stretch, like Matthew McConaughey's been dope. I've enjoyed like what well, we've gotten a year and a half of like like four Henry Golding movies. I think he's been good in all of them. Uh, Charlie, I've liked Charlie Hunnam since Sons of Anarchy, and it's just it's Guy Ritchie. Like 
the dialogue is sharp and witty and clever and funny and all the way back to Lockstock. I haven't seen Lockstock, but Lockstock, I'm gonna watch it later in the year, so chill. Uh Lockstock, I've seen Snatch, I've seen Rock and Roller. He's got that like British, you know, familiar to British type of dialogue. And I've seen at least one review reaction on Letterboxd that was like basically like, I don't like this movie because of the dialogue and one specific term that they use. And that's how it is in, you know, that's what Guy Ritchie knows. So that's what he's going to use. And it didn't, it didn't bother me. You know what I mean? Cause I'm, I'm not sensitive, but yeah, but like some plot elements felt cluttered and like overall I liked it. There, there was something that Hugh Grant did toward the end that I wasn't really a big fan of. And then it was like Guy Ritchie, like showing love to himself in that aspect, in that scene. And that was, I don't know, that was trying to like be, get a little meta breaking the fourth wall and all that. And I, I, I don't know. I thought that was a little bit of a reach, but yeah, like overall, like I'm glad I got to see this. I, I liked it for what it was. And again, like, like I, like I just said a couple minutes ago, like I'm going to write the wrong and see the guy Ritchie movies. I haven't seen later on in the year. Cause I haven't seen, I haven't seen Lockstock. I haven't seen revolver. And I think that's it, but I want to rewatch all this other stuff too. I want to, I want to be fresh on snatch and the Sherlock Holmes movies and the man from uncle. But uh, with all that being said, in my opinion, I will say that The Gentleman is almost dope. Um, have you seen The Gentleman? What you think about it, man? Positive, negative, somewhere in between. Let me know. Um, if you want that shout out in my review of The Invisible Man, how much will Call of the Wild make opening weekend, man? Be the first, be the closest. Get your guesses in by noon Central Time Sunday and you get shouted. I've recently posted reviews for Sonic the Hedgehog, The Photograph, Birds of Prey, January stuff. I got an Impractical Jokers, the movie review coming. I told y'all I want to see it. Um, and then The Invisible Man next weekend, man. Reckley Podcast episode 35 is coming. We're going to cover the Oscars. We're going to cover NBA All-Star Weekend. I don't know what we're going to do for music yet, man. So uh, like, subscribe, comment. Find me where you find me, man. Don't know where to find me. Watch these credits. Peace.